Hello friends, waiting very eagerly to watch this video, right? Because after putting in full effort also, you cannot do the sums of motion in a plane, right? See, the main thing why you cannot do the sums is, you are not applying the concept. You are trying to memorize the formula that are listed in the book or in the notes and you are trying to solve the problems. From the very beginning I told you, again I am telling you and in future also I will tell you that always pay attention in concept. Concept, concept, concept. Physics is all about concept. Clear? Okay, so today in this video we are going to solve or I am going to show you how to solve the problems for suppose river swimmer this in some problems swimmer some problems is river boat and also for river swimmer boat or river swimmer it is also for wind and aeroplane wind and aeroplane all will be in the same concept one more thing before watching this video i hope you all have the concept of vector algebra means the addition multiplications of vector multiplication not needed only addition is needed now why see what we are going to find it out the speed the distance the time right now speed or velocity so velocity what it is it's a vector quantity so before watching this video you must watch the video of the vector algebra or you must know how to add the vectors the triangular law, the parallel law, you must know how to like suppose there is a vector or there is a force acting in this direction. So this can be resulted into two components, one horizontal component, one vertical component. And if this is theta, so this will be uh, let's say this force, then F cos theta and this one will be f sin theta even if you have not watched that video or if you don't know always remember one thing any vector any vector suppose this is f i can resolve it or i can break it into two components two components should be always mutually perpendicular to each other that means this angle should be 90 degree and if this is theta, this should be a cos theta and this one should be f sin theta. Is that clear? That means cos theta will be along theta. That means the component which is with theta, it will be a cos theta. And this one is not theta, so it will be f sin theta. Very simple to uh, to Prove this one. See, this is total 90 degree. So if this is theta, then how much should be this one? This one should be 90 minus theta. Right? Now I told you f cos theta. So this one should be f cos 90 minus theta. Now what is cos 90 minus theta? F sin theta. That only I know. Understood? So this is physics. Apply logic, don't apply the formula because there are a lot of formulae. How many formulae will you remember? You may get confused, you may get you may forget the formula. Then how to do? Will you leave out the sum? No, apply logic. Clear? Okay, this is one thing you will need it. And one more, one more, what else? Okay, one more thing that is for this is the horizontal direction. This is the horizontal component. I can say this is the horizontal component and this is the vertical component. Right? Vertical 
component. This one we normally denote as I, this one as J. And this is the direction vector. That means I cap, this is called I cap, this is called K cap. It is a 2D figure. It is a 2D figure. If it was of 3D, then there should be one more. That is K cap. I cap, J cap, K cap. Clear? So if I say any vector 3 I cap, what does it mean? If I say 3 I cap plus 4 J cap. If I say there is a force and it is represented as 3 I cap plus 4 J cap. That means some, try to understand, I tell you again. That means there is a force whose J vertical direction is 4 and horizontal direction is 3. 3 I cap plus 4 J cap. Clear? So what will be the force? The force should be like this. The force should be like this. Clear? Understood? Okay. Now, coming back to our motion problem. Motion is really a problem, right? Yes, motion is really a problem. Till the time you don't apply concept. Again, 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 I am saying concept, concept, concept. Okay. In river, say suppose this is the river. The river Ganga or the river Thames or river what I don't know. Okay. Now suppose the river is flowing this way. That means there is a velocity of the river. Right? Okay. Very good. Now this is you. Now this is you. You want to swim. You want to swim. Clear? Now, you want to swim. Suppose this is A. This is B. Can you understand? So this is the river. This is the river. The river has its own speed. The water is flowing in this direction. So, the velocity of the river, that means the velocity of the water, the current of the water, the flow of the water is here. And here is a swimmer or you can say here is a boat. The boat, it should be a bit low. This is the width of the river. Width. Width of the river. Now this man, this swimmer is trying to swim. Now, he wants to reach this place. Right? Suppose, he is swimming with a velocity, velocity, Vs. Okay? Okay. What else? If it is in the sky, this is the wind. So this will be velocity of wind and this will be velocity of the aeroplane. Okay. Now, normally what are the questions comes? Main questions comes, number one, they ask you to find the time to cross the river. Number two, Find the actual point or on the opposite bank he arrives. Time to cross the river, find the actual point on the opposite bank he arrives and 
Sometimes they ask you to find out the drift. The drift. Okay. Now what is drift? And what is this thing? Find the actual point on the opposite bank. You are watching this. You are watching. You are sitting in the van, in the sea beach or in the riverside. You are sitting with a popcorn and cold drinks and watching this thing. You are watching a river is flowing. A swimmer is swimming. He is trying to swim and go across. You want to cross the river. Now what will you see? You will see the river flowing this side. So this velocity is velocity of the river with respect to ground. This is ground. Right? Yes. Now the swimmer, the swimmer is not here. The swimmer is inside the river. Understand? The swimmer is inside the river. Right? And he is swimming with the velocity of V. That means this one is the velocity of the swimmer with respect to the river. Confusing. Got puzzled. Again, 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 come. The river is flowing. So you are seeing from here. What you are seeing, the river is flowing. Say at a speed of 2 km per hour. Say at a speed of 2 km per hour. Okay? The river is flowing at a speed of 2 km per hour or let's say 3 km. So you are seeing that you are flowing at a speed of 3 km per hour. Okay. Now this swimmer, he is swimming at a speed of 4 km per hour and let the wind be 500 Clear or 4 for the 16. I can make a sum from this. Wait. Make the let the wind be 16 kilometers. Yes, it's a very big river. Okay. Now this swimmer again. This swimmer is inside the river. He is swimming at a speed of 4 km per hour. That means this 4 km per hour is the velocity. You are inside the river, then only you will see this 4 km per hour. Why? Let me tell you. See. From here, what you are seeing? He is swimming 4 km per hour. Try to understand. 4 km per hour and the river is flowing 3 km per hour. That means he is going here 4 km, the river is pulling here 3 km. That means he will be swimming like this direction. Am I right? The swimmer is trying to swim 4 km per hour and the river is pulling in 3 km per hour. This side 4 km per hour, this side 3 km per hour. So ultimately, <coughs> the swimmer will be going in this direction. So this is velocity of the swimmer with respect to the ground. What you will be seeing from here? Now, the river is pulling the swimmer also, the river is pulling you also. That means, you will be seeing the swimmer in the same 4 km per hour. But when you come out from the river and stand here, you will see that he is going this side, the river is pulling this side. He is going this side, the river is pulling this side. That means, this will be like this. So, this is the velocity of the river with respect to the ground. This is the velocity of the swimmer with respect to the ground. And this is the velocity of the swimmer with respect to the 
with respect to the river <coughs> here that means this swimmer this mr himan wanted to swim and reach at this point right he wanted to cross the river but ultimately he went at a point c he went here that means there is a displacement or there is a you know like he wanted to come here but actually he landed here so find the actual point so c is the actual point got my point or not i'm i see here not a done any sums any numerics i'm just explaining the numerics and if you can thoroughly and really understand this thing you can do all the problems i can assure you so again i'm saying mr himan he wanted to swim and cross the river but he was thinking that he is swimming straight perpendicular but actually he is not swimming because the river is pulling him this side if the river was pulling this side he would be pulled by this side so actually he was swimming along this path which only you the one from the ground with respect to the ground can be observed that means instead of landing here he actually swam swam and landed at this point right this point so this c is the actual point on the opposite bank he arrives clear okay fine drift this is called the drift this distance this distance is called the drift this distance is called the drift the shift the shift how much is shift okay and time to cross the river very simple what is the time time means time means speed and velocity speed velocity distance time formula time is distance by speed or velocity now distance means this side the weight that means vertical distance divided by vertical velocity now what is the vertical distance 16 km 16 km what is the vertical what is this vertical velocity oh what is the vertical velocity 4 km this is the 4 km so 4 that means he will take 4 hours to cross the river clear now what is the drift what is the drift the drift is this one very simple here <coughs> what the maximum we the teachers do we used to tell you to apply pythagoras theorem we try to make the problems very easier for you but actually in doing so we confuse you because we don't try to tell you the original concept shortly we used to give you the tricks to solve the problems what very simple see i want to find out see so that means i got a right angle triangle a b c this is 16 this one i don't know i have to find out this one clear so how to find out i already told you to break the components that means my this was 4 km that means the swimmer was swimming at 4 km per hour okay sorry this is 4 not 16 the depth is it this is 4 now the swimmer is swimming at 4 km now what is this one this one is 3 km this one is 3 km now he landed there so i have to find out this this one how to find out quickly quickly quickly
10 km. Ten kilometer per hour. So the weight is thirty kilometer per uh, thirty kilometer. The swimmer is swimming at a distance uh, at an angle of thirty seven degree with a speed of ten kilometer per hour, and the river is flowing eight kilometer per hour. Now what do you need to find out? You need to find out time to cross the river. Then you need to find out. Which point? I just find it short, okay? In the question in the books, you will be getting uh, find out the point on the opposite bank where he arrives. I just find at what which point. And number three, let me say actual distance he swim. Okay, so I need to answer these three questions. So again, let me explain. There is a river. The river is flowing with a speed of 8 km per hour. And there is a swimmer. He wants to swim in this direction. The direction is given by 37 degree with a speed of 10 km per hour. Clear? That means this is VRG. This one is V. Swimmer with respect to the river, this is the distance, this is my distance. Clear? Now, what should I do? First of all, let me resolve this vector. So, this is 10. So, first, let me make two components. So, this is 37, this is 37. That means this one will be 10 cos 37 and this one will be 10 sin 37. Clear? Now why did I take this 37? Because I tell you for a right angle triangle if this is 37 <coughs> if this is 37 then always this is 5 this is 3 and this is 4. Is that clear? For a right angle triangle, if theta is 37 degree, always the hypotenuse is 5, the base is 4 and the perpendicular is 3. So 10 37 degree, 10 cos 37, that means it is coming as 10 into cos 37. Cos 37 means cos base, base by hypotenuse. That is 4 by 5. Am I right? 4 by 5. 5 to the 10, that means it's coming 8. So straight away, let me write. Okay, never mind. I write here only. 8 km per hour. Similarly, this one 10 into sine. Sine means perpendicular by hypotenuse. That means 3 by 5. It's coming to 6 km per hour. Clear? You understood this part? Sure? If you cannot understand this one, then watching the whole video is useless. Okay. If you cannot understand, rewind the videos, watch again. Now understood, huh? Okay. Now, this velocity, this velocity The swimmer, the swimmer was actually swimming in this direction with a velocity of 10 km per hour. Now I resolved it into two vectors. This one is how much? 6 km per hour. And in this direction how much? 8 km per hour. So actually he was thinking that he
the river is also pulling him that is he is swimming like this that is he is having two direct two velocities one with 6 km per hour he is moving upwards and with 8 km per hour he is moving this side again the river is pulling him this side even the river is pulling him this side and in this at a velocity of 8 km per hour with his own speed he is trying to move 8 km per hour this side but the river is pulling this side 8 km per hour that means what will happen this one and this one will get cancelled you are standing here i am pulling you with one newton somebody else is pulling you with one newton that side so will you move no you cannot move right you will be at your position so here what we can see this swimmer will be having only the vertical velocity no horizontal velocity right right or wrong okay now time to cross the river so very easy time to cross the river time speed sorry distance by velocity that means vertical distance divided by vertical velocity clear so time to cross the river is vertical distance by vertical velocity now what is my time vertical distance this is 30 and what is my vertical velocity 6 so i should take hey 30 divided by 6 why 10 5 5 hours so time taken to cross the river will be 5 hours is that clear okay now at which point on the opposite side of the bag we arrive so he started from here he started from here now the he is having only vertical velocity only this direction is having the horizontal direction is got cancelled that means he will reach here only so answer to this will be what to say just vertically opposite point on the opposite bank clear understood very good actual distance is mean this distance what is this distance 30 km so he swam 30 km clear understood or not when in your brain in your mind or not okay next like this solve the problem again i am saying solve the problem all the concepts will be clear questions will be coming like this only time to cross the river Okay. Uh, let me take some example or some question from the book. Okay. See, there is a question here. A man swims three kilometer per hour. Okay. Let me just write. Hmm. Swimmer swims three kilometer per hour. That means 
थ्री किलोमीटर पर आवर
equals to root 5 by 3. Clear? Understood or not? See, this side component and this side component should be equal. Generally, you can just go and land here. That means 3 sin theta should be equal to 2. That means sin theta is equal to 2 by 3. This 3 goes this side. Now, there is a formula. Sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1. Therefore, cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta. So, cos theta, cos theta is equal to square root of 1 minus sin square theta. So, cos theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta. Sin theta is equal to 2 by 3. So, sin square theta will be 4 by 9. So, 1 minus 4 by 9. That means my vertical, my vertical velocity will be 3 into root 5 by 3, root 5 by 3. This, this gets cancelled, so this will be root 5 kilometer per hour. Clear? So, what I need to find out? Sorry, sorry, sorry. The time. So I need to find out number one, number one uh, time and two in which direction should it swim? In which direction should he? Flow of water. 
swims at the water level at the flow of water. You need to find out time to cross the river and which point he arrives. Okay. Now see. So this is your question. Same thing. The river is flowing at two kilometer per hour.
distance, distance how to find BC BC means uh, BC means BC 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 means my horizontal horizontal BC means uh, distance distance means speed to time horizontal velocity into time right now what is my horizontal velocity horizontal velocity is 0.5 that means 0.5 into time how much time how much time this one 1 by 3 root 3 now you multiply and do what what you want what it will come 5 by 10 5 by 10 uh, that means half half means 1 by 6 root 3 kilometer 1 by 6 root 3 kilometer that means you can say um, at which point at which point does he arrive he will arrive at a point C but you must draw the diagram to show the point 1 by 6 root 3 and you have to also write that he will arrive at a point C which is 1 by 6 root 3 kilometer uh, but the drift is 1 by 6 root 3 kilometer from the exact opposite point. Clear? Is that clear or not? Understood? Okay. Uh, what else should I do? Okay, 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 let me do this one, very interesting one. Again, suppose, not suppose, the question is in the book of Velocity of the river is, Okay, so this is 
4 km per hour. This is 3 km per hour. That is 2 km. That means this there is 2 km per hour. That means how? This side is 4, this side is 2. See, this side is 4, this side is 2. That means the swimmer, the swimmer is starting from here, he will be going this side. With the, this side velocity of 2 km. Because this is 4, this is 2, so this side will be 4. And what is the vertical velocity? Vertical velocity is 3. That means I need to find out the time. So time is time is vertical distance 12 by vertical velocity 3 equals to 4 hours. Okay? So the answer is 4 hours. For for time. Okay. Now, 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 what to find out? Uh, what to find out? Which point? Which point? That means this one. That means this one. This one. Okay. Uh, so, this is, this is 12. So, actual distance. Actual distance. What is this one? This is 5. Right? This is 5. Right? Or I can do like this. See, this one is the... I first find out this one. Huh? Uh, I first find out this one. V of the swimmer with respect to the ground. V, I told you already that is V of the swimmer with respect to the river and velocity of the river with respect to the ground. Right? Now, 2 and 5. 5, 1, 5. So this point, 
So this is number two, no sorry, this is number three and two. At which point? So I need to find out BC, right? BC distance, distance, distance means speed into time, speed means <coughs> horizontal speed. So what is my horizontal speed? Two into time. Time how much? Time how much? Time four. Four. That is equals to eight kilometer. Now how will you write? How will you write? This distance is eight kilometer. So you can say, you can say he will reach at a point eight kilometer. Uh, left hand side, you can say like that. Left hand side, or you can opposite to the flow of the river. So the river was going this side. He came this side. So he will he will land eight kilometer on the left hand side from just the point opposite to the bank. Clear? Okay? Okay, okay. What else? What else? What else? Okay, one more question comes. One, one more question, but one more type of question comes. What is that? That is sometimes, not sometimes, many a times they ask find out the minimum distance minimum distance and what is it and also the minimum time minimum distance and minimum time now suppose suppose again concept 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 uh, <coughs> that means mm, minimum distance suppose there is the river the minimum distance will be this one that means my drift my drift should be equal to zero am i right my drift should be equals to zero. That means what to say? Um, suppose, suppose, suppose if I was traveling in this direction. Clear? I was traveling in this direction and this is theta. That means if this is theta, that means this one will be V cos theta and this one will be V sin theta. V means V swimmer with respect to the river. This is V swimmer with respect to the river. Now, drift should be zero. That means, and this one is my V of river with respect to the ground. This is my original thing. Understood? So, suppose if I am swimming like this, this is my velocity of the swimmer with respect to the river. So if I make it into two components, this is velocity of the swimmer with respect to the river cos theta and V as a sin theta. And the river is flowing like this. That means drift will be zero means these two forces should be equal. These two velocities will be equal. Then only it will not go in either direction. It will go and just land here only. Right? That means here V uh, sin theta should be equal to V RG. That means sin theta will be equal to V RG by V swimmer with respect to the river. Now if you open the book, you will find it as a formula and it is mentioned very 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 important. All your teachers also told you to memorize this one by heart. But I will tell you, no need to memorize. Apply your brain if you have and I am sure you have that and apply the logic and do the sum.
क्लियर अंडरस्टूड ओके सो मिनिमम डिस्टेंस मीन्स अगेन आई एम लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू मिनिमम डिस्टेंस मीन्स द ड्रिफ्ट शुड बी जीरो नाउ ड्रिफ्ट शुड बी जीरो मीन्स यू शुड लैंड हियर दैट मीन्स यू विल गो स्ट्रेट यू विल नॉट गो दिस साइड नॉट गो दैट साइड नाउ वेन यू विल गो दिस साइड ऑफ दिस साइड वेन दिस फोर्सेस विल ट्राई टू पुल यू और पुश यू राइट दैट मीन्स इफ दिस फोर्स इज मोर यू विल गो दिस साइड यू विल लैंड हियर इफ दिस फोर्स इज मोर यू विल गो लैंड हियर But if this two are equal, straight away you will go to the opposite bank, which is the minimum distance. That means this two should be equal. That means B sine theta will be equal to B R G. That means sine theta will be this one. Now you can calculate and find it out. Clear? Okay. What else? So this is minimum distance. Now for minimum time. Minimum time. Minimum time. By speed or distance by velocity. Now distance. What is the distance? Distance means the width of the river. The width of the river and speed means the vertical speed. That means v r cos theta. V is a cos theta, right? Now. This time should be now see this one. When will be the time minimum? It will be minimum if the denominator is maximum. If the denominator is maximum, then the time will be minimum. Can you understand or not? You are dividing something. If you divide by maximum quantity, the value will become less. Now this one is. Now when will be this one maximum? When cos theta will be equals to one? Now when cos theta is equals to one? When theta is equals to 90 degree? Cos 91. Am I right? Right. So when theta will be equals to 90 degree? Sorry, zero degree. Sine theta is equal to one. When theta is equal to zero degree, cos theta is equal to one. That means that means minimum time is he should swim perpendicular to the. Flow of water or the river. Flow of river. So this is all about river swimmer or river boat or river wing aeroplane problem. My dear students, don't get frustrated. The first time you are facing this type of problems, and I tell you, really, these are very critical problems. But it will be a problem for you until and unless you understand this. So I hope this video will, <coughs> sorry, help you to understand these problems. Then practice a lot. You can do one thing. You can see some examples, but the main problem with the examples are they all. They don't apply the logics. They don't apply the, you know, the concepts. They apply the formula, the theory only. So try, try, and try. I am sure you can do the sums. Okay, you see this, watch this video. After watching this video, you think yourself, close your eyes and think what's happening. You just think yourself. You want the. Never think you are the swimmer. Always think you are here, Mr. Hero. Always heroine, whoever it is. 